Diodes are essential components in electronics. They act like one-way valves for electricity. This means they allow current to flow in one direction but block it in the other. This unique property makes them incredibly versatile. Diodes are used in a wide range of applications, from simple household appliances to complex electronic systems. Imagine a water pipe with a check valve. Water can only flow through the pipe in one direction. Diodes work similarly with electricity. This unidirectional flow of current is crucial for many electronic circuits. It enables us to convert alternating current power to direct current power, regulate voltage, detect light, and much more. Without diodes, our world would be a very different place. They are essential components in computers, smartphones, televisions, radios, and countless other electronic devices. In the following sections, we will delve deeper into the world of diodes, exploring their history, different types, and various applications. The discovery of the diode can be traced back to the late 19th century. In 1874, German physicist Ferdinand Braun was experimenting with crystals. He discovered that certain crystals conducted electricity better in one direction than the other. This phenomenon, known as asymmetric conduction, was the foundation for the development of the diode. In the early 20th century, Greenleaf Whittier Pickard, an American engineer, invented the first practical diode. It was called a point contact diode. This invention paved the way for further advancements in diode technology. Early diodes were made using vacuum tubes. These vacuum tube diodes, also known as thermionic diodes, were bulky and inefficient. However, they played a crucial role in the development of early radios and other electronic devices. The invention of the transistor in 1947 revolutionized electronics. This led to the development of semiconductor diodes, which were smaller, more efficient, and more reliable than their vacuum tube counterparts. Semiconductor diodes quickly replaced vacuum tube diodes in most applications. Diodes, in their modern form, are semiconductor devices. They are typically made from materials like silicon and germanium. The key to a diode's functionality lies in its unique structure, the PN junction. This junction is formed by joining two different types of semiconductor materials, P-type and N-type. The P in P-type stands for positive. P-type semiconductors have an excess of holes, which are essentially vacancies for electrons. These holes act as positive charge carriers. On the other hand, the N in N-type stands for negative. N-type semiconductors have an excess of electrons, which are negative charge carriers. When a P-type semiconductor and an N-type semiconductor are joined together, a unique region called the depletion region is formed at the junction. In this region, free electrons from the N-type material combine with holes from the P-type material. This creates a region depleted of charge carriers, hence the name depletion region. This depletion region acts as a barrier to the flow of current. However, this barrier can be overcome by applying an external voltage. The behavior of the diode changes depending on the polarity of the applied voltage. This leads to the diode's unidirectional current flow characteristic. One of the most common applications of diodes is in rectification. Rectification is the process of converting alternating current to direct current. Most electronic devices require direct current power to function. However, the electricity supplied to our homes and businesses is alternating current power. This is where rectifier diodes come into play. A rectifier diode allows current to flow through it in only one direction. When alternating current voltage is applied across the diode, it only conducts current during the positive half cycle of the alternating current waveform. During the negative half cycle, the diode blocks the current. This results in a pulsating direct current output waveform. To smooth out this pulsating direct current and make it more suitable for electronic devices, capacitors are used in conjunction with rectifier diodes. Bridge rectifiers are commonly used rectifier circuits. They employ four diodes arranged in a bridge configuration. This arrangement ensures that both the positive and negative half cycles of the alternating current waveform are utilized. 
resulting in a more efficient conversion of alternating current to direct current power. Section 5. Zener Diodes, Voltage Regulators Another important type of diode is the Zener Diode. Unlike regular diodes which are primarily used for their unidirectional current flow, Zener diodes are specifically designed to operate in the reverse breakdown region. When a regular diode is reverse biased, it blocks current flow until the breakdown voltage is reached. Once the breakdown voltage is exceeded, the diode starts conducting heavily, which can damage the diode if not controlled. Zener diodes, on the other hand, are designed to have a controlled breakdown voltage, known as the Zener voltage. When the reverse voltage across a Zener diode exceeds its Zener voltage, it starts conducting. However, unlike regular diodes, the breakdown in a Zener diode is controlled and does not damage the device. This unique property of Zener diodes makes them ideal for voltage regulation. Voltage regulators are essential circuits that maintain a constant output voltage regardless of variations in input voltage or load current. Zener diodes are widely used in voltage regulators to provide a stable reference voltage. Section 6. Light Emitting Diodes LEDs, Illuminating Our World Among the various types of diodes, light emitting diodes, commonly known as LEDs, hold a prominent place in our modern world. LEDs have revolutionized lighting technology, offering energy efficiency, longer lifespan, and greater design flexibility compared to traditional incandescent bulbs. Unlike regular diodes, which are primarily concerned with controlling the flow of current, LEDs are designed to emit light when current passes through them. This phenomenon is called electroluminescence. The color of light emitted by an LED depends on the semiconductor material used and the impurities added to it. By carefully selecting the semiconductor material and controlling the doping process, LEDs can be engineered to emit light in a wide range of colors, from visible light to infrared and ultraviolet radiation. LEDs are highly energy efficient light sources. They convert a much higher percentage of electrical energy into light compared to incandescent bulbs, which waste a significant amount of energy as heat. This energy efficiency makes LEDs an environmentally friendly lighting solution. Section 7. Other types of diodes. Beyond rectifier diodes, Zener diodes, and LEDs, other diodes serve specific purposes. Photodiodes generate current when exposed to light. Schottky diodes have a lower forward voltage drop and fast switching speeds. Varactor diodes exhibit variable capacitance, useful in tuning circuits. Tunnel diodes use quantum tunneling for specialized applications. Each type of diode plays a unique role in electronics. Section 8. Conclusion. Diodes, often referred to as the one-way streets of electronics, are fundamental components that play a crucial role in shaping our modern world. From simple rectifiers that convert AC power to DC power to complex LEDs that illuminate our homes and screens, diodes are indispensable building blocks in countless electronic devices. Their ability to control the flow of current in one direction has enabled engineers and inventors to develop a wide range of electronic circuits and systems that power our lives. As technology advances, we can expect to see even more innovative applications of diodes, further expanding the horizons of what's possible in the world of electronics.